Welcome to the Worldwide Center of Mathematics. Today, I'll be going over this week's problem of the week. With the full problem and solution transcript, you can see the link in the description of this video on our YouTube channel. So this week's problem of the week asks you to find or to evaluate the limit as n goes to infinity of the sum from i equals 1 to n of 3 times quantity 1 plus i over n, all squared, times quantity 1 over n. So first, we're going to take this in two steps. So the first step is going to be simplifying the limit, I mean simplifying the summation, using the rules, properties of summations. And finally, the last step is going to be evaluating the limit, taking the limit as n goes to infinity. Okay, so we're going to start evaluating the summation by bringing the 3 and the 1 over n outside. So the 1 over n does not depend on i, so we can go ahead and bring it outside. So we'll just rewrite this over here as the limit from n, as the limit as n goes to infinity of 3 over n, because 3 times quantity 1 over n is just going to be 3 over n. So 3 over n times the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 plus i over n squared. Okay, so our next step is going to be to FOIL out i plus 1, i, 1 plus i over n squared. So visually, 1 plus i over n times 1 plus i over n is going to be equal to, so 1 times 1 is just 1, plus i over n plus i over n is going to be plus 2i over n, and then i over n times i over n is going to be i squared over n squared. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and bring that over here and substitute it in for what we had here is uh, 1 plus i over n. And remember, you always have to remember to bring down the limit when you're rewriting this because it's a common habit in calculus and uh, when evaluating se uh, sequences and series to forget the, the limit. And if you forget the limit, you either forget it permanently or it's just incorrect. Um, because if you write this as equal to the sum, that's just, that's just not correct because this is the limit here. So just a note to remember to rewrite the limit even though it's a hassle. So limit as n goes to infinity of 3 over n times the sum from i equals 1 to n. And then we're just bringing this from over here down here. So 1 plus 2i over n plus i squared over n squared. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and use the linearity properties of, of the summation to, uh, just to, to break this into three sums. So here we have limit of n, limit as n goes to infinity of 3 over n. And then we're going to have on the inside here the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 plus, and then the sum of this term here. So the sum from i equals 1 to n of 2i over n plus, and then finally the last term, the sum from i equals 1 to n of i squared over n squared. Okay, so. Now, we can see we have several common forms. Here we have 1, 2i over n, and i squared over n squared. Because n does not depend on i, we can bring it outside of the summations. So I'm just going to go ahead and simplify this here in one step. So here we can bring 1 over n out to the front of the summation. So we have 1 over n out here because n does not depend on i. So instead of 2i over n, we just end up with 2i. 2i. <clears throat> it's a little hard to see here. And we can do the same thing with this last summation. Here we can pull out a 1 over n squared because n does not depend on i. So we can pull out the n squared, 1 over n squared. So we have 1 over n squared on the outside here. And we're just left with a summation of i squared on the inside. So now it might be a little bit more clear. We can recognize we have a formula that allows us to rewrite in, sim in simpler notation um, 1, 2i, and i squared. Um, for these summations. So we can do that as follows. Rewrite the i in terms of n here. So we can rewrite that as follows. Just bring this out. Uh, actually not changing this at all. So limit as n goes to infinity of 3 over n times quantity. So we can simplify the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1 as just n. And we can simplify the sum from i equals 1 to n of 2i as um, as n plus 1 here. Whoops. As, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. OK, so we can actually bring the 2 out here in the front. We don't have to, but it helps to kind of see. OK, so we just leave the 2n here. And then the sum of i 
from i equals 1 to n of i is just going to be n times n plus 1 over 2. And finally, uh, the sum from i equals 1 to n of i squared is going to be keeping the 1 over n squared out in the front. Uh, sum of i squared is n, uh, n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 all over 6. Okay, so there we go. So now it looks like we just have a limit as n goes to infinity of things, terms only involving n. So it looks like we're in good shape. So now all that I'm going to do in order to be able to finish this problem is I'm just going to simplify down by canceling out and combining like terms and then finally taking the limit. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll do this in two steps. So the first step I'll, I will do will be to um, distribute these terms inside here. And then the second step that I'll do will be to distribute the 3 over n. So we'll just do it in kind of two steps. So we'll leave the limit just a little over here. Limit as n goes to infinity, keeping the 3 over n on the outside. The n just stays the same from here. So 2 over n, we have a 2 over n here and an n over 2 here, so that everything just cancels out, and we're just left with n plus 1. And over here, we have 1 over n squared times, on the outside, I see an n over 6. So we can cancel out one of the n's, so we're just left with 1 n in the denominator instead of 2. So we have, in the numerator here, we have n plus 1 and 2 n plus 1, 2 n plus 1. And all over the denominator, we have 6 n. So finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute out the 3 over n and then take the limit. So we have the limit as n goes to infinity. So 3 over n times n is just going to be 3 plus 3 over n. So we have 3 times n plus 1 over n here. And then finally, so 3 over n and so we have a 3 in the numerator and a 6 in the denominator, so we can simplify that into 1 over 2. So we have, in the numerator we have n plus 1, 2n plus 1, and then in the denominator we're going to have 2n squared. Okay, great. So it looks like we have a couple more simplifications to do before we can take the limit. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and distribute out the n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. So n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 is going to be, or I guess we could, yeah, is going to be, so we have n plus 1. I'll just make a little side note here. Uh, 2n plus 1. If we uh, distribute this out, so n times 2n is going to be 2n squared. n times 1 is n. 1 times 2n is 2n, so n plus 2n is 3n. Plus 1, 1 times 1 is 1. Okay, and then 3 times quantity n plus 1 is just going to be 3n plus 3. Just making a little note of that there. So we can rewrite this expression as the limit as n goes to infinity of 3 plus 3n plus 3 all over n plus 2n squared plus 3n plus 1 all over 2n squared. Okay, so now we know that when we have a fraction like this with multiple terms in the numerator and a single term in the denominator, or multiple terms in the denominator, it doesn't matter, we can, we can break this single fraction here of 3s, 3n plus 3 over n into two fractions, 3n over n and 3 over n. So we have, I'll just do that here. So we're going to rewrite the limit as n goes to infinity. Of the 3 stays the same here. So 3 plus 3n over n plus 3 over n plus, and then I'm going to break down every one of these terms in the numerator over the denominator. So we have plus 2n squared over 2n squared plus 3n over 2n squared. plus 1 over 2n squared. 
Okay, so I'm going to simplify by canceling out n's from the numerator and n's from the denominator. So we have the limit as n goes to infinity of 3 plus 3n over n is just going to be 3, plus 3 over n can just be left as 3 over n. 2n squared over 2n squared is just going to be 1. 3n over 2n squared is going to be 3 over 2n, plus, and then we just leave this as 1 over 2n squared. So finally, when we take the limit, uh, when we take the limit here, all of these terms with an n in the denominator, because there's no n in the, in the numerator, they're all going to go to 0. So for example, when we take the limit as n goes to infinity of 3 over n, this is going to go to 0. Same with 3 over 2n and 1 over 2n squared. So our, all we're left with here is 3 plus 3 plus 1, which is going to be equal to 7, which is the solution, which is the final solution to our problem there. So as you can see, we first, the first step was to simplify the summation, then use the rules of expanding out summations in terms of i into, summation, into simpler expressions in terms of n. And then we finally, we did a little simplification, and we took the limit as n goes to infinity. And we got our final answer, which is just a nice and easy 7. So for more problems of the week, you can click on our playlist here to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click this link here. And to visit us at centerofmath.org, you can click this link down here. Thank you for watching.